From WFRV-TV Local 5, your local election headquarters, this is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zelaski. On April 2nd, voters in Green Bay will decide who will become the next mayor of the city. The incumbent, Jim Schmidt, not running for another term and will leave office that he's held since 2003. Patrick Buckley and Eric Genrick are the two candidates running to replace him. On today's edition of Newsmaker Sunday, we talk with Eric Genrick. He's a Green Bay native, received his bachelor's degree from UW-Madison, master's degree from UW-Milwaukee. He is a former state assemblyman, elected to office as a Democrat in 2012. And before serving in Madison, Genrick worked in Congressman Steve Kagan's office. Eric Genrick, good morning. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. A repeat person on our show. That's right. Thanks again. Uh, what have you learned since the primary? Well, we feel really good about the primary results. Obviously came through that election with 44% of the vote. Um, of course, the, you know, the slate is sort of wiped clean at this point, so we have a, another chapter. Um, but we're really excited about where things stand and, and excited about bringing it home. You know very well, being a member of this community for so many years, the big issue that we're talking about these days is the, the potholes and right. our roads and transportation. How, what's your plan? How do you intend on, on fixing that? Well, Green Bay is not unique in that regard. Unfortunately, we've seen um, infrastructure sort of deteriorate all across the state of Wisconsin. Right. Um, but Green Bay is an older community. And as a result, you know, we have a lot of infrastructure that needs to be invested in. And as I've said, this needs to be the, the first priority for our next mayor. And it certainly will be for me. Um, I've talked about the importance of developing a capital improvement plan and program um, that really gets that inventory of needs on the table um, so that we can have a good understanding of, of what those needs are and how we go about addressing them. Do you see that problem as citywide or are there certain sections of the city that need it more than others? It's certainly, you know, in the in the outer uh, ring of, of the community, I think in those newer developments, we don't see the um, the infrastructural right. needs as we do in the in the core. Um, but where I live on the near west side of Green Bay on Division Street, um, you know, it's, it's pretty rough over on Bond, on Webster, which fortunately is being um, reconstructed, but over on Shawano, you know, there's, there's just a lot of roads out there that need repair. And now that we've started the melt, and I'm just noticing that now, uh, it's really starting to expose itself. You're really starting to see all these potholes. Right. And, it, you know, that's kind of a seasonal thing, as you said, once, it, once you see that snow melt. But I think, um, you know, I've never seen things quite so bad. Um, downtown redevelopment. Mayor Schmidt's been putting a lot of effort into it and has been for a number of years now. Uh, has, in your view, it been successful? Yeah, I think it, you know, this, um, the positive momentum that has been um, built up over these last few years um, with regard to downtown development and redevelopment is a really positive thing and I want to see that continue. Um, but I also want to make sure that citizens across the city of Green Bay feel as though city government is advocating for them, investing in their neighborhoods. Um, so in addition to the, the repairs that need to be done to our roads, I've talked about investing in our our city parks and bike paths and um, and other amenities all across the city of Green Bay. There's been talk of a community center, the need for that, um, a new public safety center. So, so those are all the things that I think need to be taken into account when we're talking about making these investments. We've been looking at videotape of the new uh, Hotel Northland. And as you well know, during the process of the renovation of that project, there were some financial difficulties. There were some issues. How would you, as mayor, prevent that scenario from happening with the next big project? Right. Well, I think it's it's important that we are um, as upfront and as transparent as possible with the citizens when we are um, entering into those sorts of negotiations. Um, as I've said to, to many folks, I will not be a, a deal maker in chief. I will be somebody who is very much interested in, in putting together a really solid platform on which businesses and citizens and other organizations can really succeed. Um, but I think that's the that's the role of local government is is making those investments in infrastructure, um, making sure that we have a high quality. Um, community and economic development department, which we certainly do have. We're, we're growing so fast downtown. Do we have the parking <clears throat> to handle all this growth? Or, you know, or, or do we need more? Yeah, that's a good question. And parking is always a concern, I think, for any city. If you visit a city and it's, uh, and it's sort of easy to park and, and not at all a concern, it's probably not a very exciting or dynamic place to be. Mm -hmm. um, but it's something that, that needs to be addressed. And I know there's been talk of <clears throat> the importance of, of maybe developing a new parking structure in the future. So that, again, is something that needs to be incorporated into any long-term plan. We have been developing a lot downtown. 
Have we done that at the expense of the outer portions of the city? Too much downtown, not enough on the outer? Well, I know it certainly feels that way. It can feel like it's a zero-sum situation, especially when we've seen the infrastructure deteriorate. Um, but I think we really can be um, an advocate for all, all neighborhoods across the city of Green Bay. This campaign has been one um, with, which is really focused on building up all, all communities, all people, all neighborhoods, and, and that's the approach that I'll take as mayor. As, uh, as mayor, are, do you see neighborhoods uh, in competition with each other for development, or is it just one, one big happy family? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's certainly a competitive environment whenever you're talking about economic development with regard to, to Green Bay versus our surrounding municipalities and, and the county at large, but I think it's really important for us to, uh, to work together um, to, to recognize that if we are seeing investment in our community, um, regardless of where it occurs, it, it's good for the community at large. We will continue with Eric Genrick right after this, so please stay with us.